looking for a revamped KCI and 47% wanting a new option in Johnson County. If you'd like to vote, head over to the KCTV5 Twitter page. It has been six months since two little boys were killed in the metro and their families are still seeking justice. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers is live tonight in Kansas City with how the families are pushing to find the boys' killers. Nathan. Amy, the families of Jade Nugu and Montel Ross have been in agony for the past few months. They're desperately searching for answers and for clues that could lead them to the men who shot into their home last August. Now tonight, they're celebrating the kindness and the happiness that their children brought to them. Happy birthday, Happy a birthday celebration for a boy who should have turned 10 years old today. Six months ago, Jaden Ugu and his family were robbed of celebrating this day together. But today they're gathering to remember him and his cousin Montel. It helped us try to not think of the situation that has happened, but help us think of happy thoughts, like they're in a better place. Taisha Coppage is Jaden's mom and a sister to Montel's mom, Aisha Coppage. The two mothers are still waiting for answers in the boy's case. Six months later, police have still not named a suspect. Discouragement always seemed to find its way through the creases and cracks, but I know, I know without a doubt that we're going to get justice. I just don't know when. Jaden shares a birthday with Abraham Lincoln. When he found this out last year, he told his mom he wanted his next party to be Abe Lincoln themed. Jaden wasn't like all oh, the kids. He, he thought outside the box. <laughs> Today, his family and friends are calling him President Jaden and asking for Kansas City to help them find his killer. Any answer, it ain't gonna bring them back, but it, it'll help us ease our mind and help our kids sleep better at night. Well, tomorrow, Jaden and Montel's families will visit the cemetery where they are buried for the six month anniversary of their shooting. Reporting live in Kansas City, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News. All right, Nathan.